In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace all the interior lights on your 2003 to 2006 Infinity G35. The courtesy lights, the visor lights, the map lights, the two dome lights in the rear seat over there, and also the trunk light. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we need to have the right tools. So that's two screwdrivers we need, a flathead, a small flathead, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. Just like that. That's it. That's all the tools we need for this job. Let's start with the driver's side courtesy light. That's the one right below the door. Right there. So get the screwdriver in there and pry the light out just the way I'm doing it. There's two clips holding it in place. That's one clip and that's the second clip. And out the light comes. Now we can replace the bulb as it is, but like it makes the job much easier if you can just disconnect the power connector there. Press it down, comes out. Now once the light is out, you can easily get the bulb out. Use the screwdriver and pry the light out. The replacement bulb size is DE3022. So you can either use DE3022 or you can use DE3175. They both are the same size. So get the new bulb and then just push the bulb in place. It's locked. And then we can put it back in. So first connect the electrical connector. It just goes in one way. So push it, it's locked, and then push the light in place just like that. All right, that is good. Now let's move on to the passenger side one. Same process, exact same process as the driver side, but I'm going to show you just so I can show you that it's the exact same process and it's very easy. Get the light out, disconnect the electrical connector over there, get the bulb out, it's the same bulb. DE3022 so you can get a DE3022 or a DE3175 either one of them is going to work get the bulb out using the screwdriver it comes right out get the replacement bulb and once you have the replacement bulb all you have to do is just align it with there and push it in just make sure that the two metal ends of the bulb are in contact with the two metal connectors there connect it to the electrical connector back in there and lock it in place now let's move on to the visor light that's the driver side one. Use a screwdriver to pry that plastic trim off. Be careful to not put any pressure on the mirror itself. That cover has a tendency to fly off and that's fine. These bulbs are called the fuse size or fuse style bulb. It's a 28 millimeter fuse style bulb. I have put the link in the description where you can buy the replacement ones from. Get the bulb out, put the new bulb back in, Align it the way I'm doing it and push it in place. Once you do that, let's not forget to put that trim piece back on. Just align it there and then push it. Same process for the passenger side one. No difference whatsoever. Same bulb size, same process, same everything. Takes two minutes. And now we can move on to the map. We can either use a credit card or you can use a screwdriver to pry that lens out. First, I'm going to show you with the screwdriver and then I'm going to show you with the credit card. So pry it out right where I did and now use a screwdriver to get the bulb out. It's a good idea to wear gloves right now because the bulb's probably going to be hard. Again, the bulb size is DE3175. So get the replacement bulb, put the bulb back in there. Before you put the lens in, it's a good idea to check the bulb out itself. Make sure it's working. Put the lens in the way I'm doing it and just push it and it's done. Now let's try out the credit card way. Wedge the credit card in there and then use that to pry the lens out. It's two clips. Lens comes out. Same process. Let's get the screwdriver and pry the bulb out. Same bulb size DE3175. Put the bulb in, put the lens back in and push it. That's good. Now let's move on to the second row or the dome lights. Use the screwdriver to pry the light out, then wiggle it out, and out it comes. That's the driver side one. Disconnect the power outlet there. Disconnect the electrical connector back there. The light comes off. Now this is where you need that Phillips head screwdriver. There's one small screw there that you need to undo. Once you undo the screw, use the flathead screwdriver and put the screwdriver right in the small gap there, right when I'm putting it. Right, and then use the screwdriver to pry the lens out. 
Now let's get the bulb out. It's the same bulb size as the map lights, DE3175. Get the bulb, push it in place. Let's put the lens back on, it just clips in. Let's not forget to put the screw back on. This is where having one of those magnetic screwdriver really helps. And you don't have to go crazy die with it. You just need to make sure that it sits snug, right? So just tighten it a little bit. Now we can put the light back in. Connect the electrical connector there. Light's working, let's put it in there, push it. And that is good. Now it's the exact same process for the passenger side one. Use the screwdriver there to pry the light out. Once the light is out, disconnect the electrical connector over there by pushing down on it. Same process to take the bulb out and put the bulb back in. No difference whatsoever, they're identical lights. Same bulb size, DE3175. So you basically have DE3175 for the map lights, for the second row dome lights, you can even use it for the two courtesy lights on the doors. Connect the electrical connector, check the light, and put it in there, and then push it. All right, that's good. Now let's move on to the trunk light. That's the trunk light. Use your finger and open up the cover. Now. It's advisable to wear gloves right now because the bulb is on, it's hot probably. Just pull the bulb out, it'll come right out. If it doesn't, just wiggle it a little bit, but it'll come out. The bulb size is 194 or 168 or T10. Push the bulb in and clip the cover back on. And that is pretty much it. If you like this video, we got a lot more videos made just for your vehicle. So check out the playlist over there. And if you have a friend or family who can benefit from this video, please share with them. Till then, drive safe and thank you for watching.